Why now to speak up and break the silence? Well, I think that after spending 33 years in a department that I love and having the fortunate opportunity to become chief of that department, I think it's only proper uh, to say something on uh, your way out. It's been more than a month since the abrupt announcement of former Norfolk Police Chief Larry Boone's retirement. Since then, many have spoken up about staffing concerns and low morale within the department. Since leaving office, Boone has stayed silent until now. All right, Chief, you ready to go? Hey, let's do it. And News 3 investigator Zach Donhammer joins us. Now you talked one-on-one -on -one with the Chief. So what... What was the big takeaway? Well, Kurt, a lot of things. One of the things he, uh, that Ch former Chief Boone was very outspoken on are the vacancies that have been talked about for quite a while within Norfolk Police Department. But I also asked him about his exit from the city, what he's most proud of during his time as chief, and his message to residents and his successor. It's been about five weeks since you physically were in your office as chief of police here in Norfolk. How have you been since then? Fantastic. Um, I get the customary six hours of sleep a night. I've been great. What is your take on the state of the city right now and more especially the city's leadership as well as the police department? Well, let me just stay in my lane, okay? And, and my lane deals with uh, law enforcement. Um, I, I uh, have some concern, as you know, about the number of vacancies. Uh, that's going to be insurmountable to overcome um, in the short. What do you make of the comments regarding both these vacancies and department morale? The vacancies have, have been an issue going back as early as January of 2019. I started meeting with um, every officer as well as every professional staff member in the department to address two things, uh, manpower all right, and pay. Is changing chiefs enough to boost morale within the department? Well, th that depends. Um, you know, morale is a tricky thing. It's, it's real, it's a real perception, uh, it's a real reality uh, for some officers. Is there anything that you could say regarding your exit from the city? I'm retired. Nothing about the circumstances or anything like that? <laughs> you know, Zach, um, I, I've been in this profession a, a minute and um, I think you know my personality. Um, I try not to let anybody muscle me into doing something I don't want to do. I've retired. How would you grade the last six years of working with the mayor, city council members, the city manager to collaborate with trying to address violent crime in the city? <laughs> I'm retired. <laughs> let me say this though, crime interrupters, cameras, things of that nature uh, were some things that I suggested. What is one thing that are you most proud of or you could say that is the, the biggest accomplishment you performed? Oh, on? there's no one thing. We um, have done some tremendous things by way of crime prevention, by way of leadership, by way of promotions, by way of community outreach. And, you know, a lot of folks gave me a hard time for being visible. But God damn it, what is a police chief supposed to be uh, during moments of crisis? If you were to speak to directly to the people living here in Norfolk, what would you say to, to the folks here within the city, your main message to them out of all this? We need to be bold, courageous, and place the community at the center of every decision that you make. And in addition to that, this is specifically for said police chief, Explain to the rank and file why that is necessary. And Chief Boone was also very thankful to the men and women at MPD as well as residents in the community for serving as their chief. You know, six years as the chief, more than 30 years overall with the department. So, Zach, is there, I mean, is there any indication, uh, what's next for Chief Boone? Is there any indication that he might go serve as police chief somewhere else? Well, Pari, that's another thing that I got to ask uh, Ch former Chief Boone, and he says he's going to take some time. You know, he's also going to see what opportunities come, but he wants to see something. It depends on what is a, is a fit for his personality, he mentioned to me. He says he's comfortable being in an urban setting. And a direct quote that he told me was, was that he doesn't want to be on the sidelines. He wants to be on the 50 yard line for everyone to see. So we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds. Stay tuned because I mean, that sounds like he's, he's, he's got something coming up down the road. We'll see. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Zach. Zach. Thanks guys.